So what makes you get into IASI MSQE and what doesn't? So in this video, I will explain you what are the things which might hinder your progress towards IASI MSQE. Hi, this is Ashish Kaurav and I have done my MSQE from IASI Kolkata. And in this video, let's just briefly go over those points which will be an impediment for your MSQE dreams. So the very first thing is, if you're not practicing enough JE level mathematics, now if you want to understand how to prepare JE mathematics for MSQE, or if you do not have mathematics background, how to prepare for it, then I have made videos on that. And essentially you have to get hold of a good JE book Take any and practice as much as you can. And yes, if you have any specific question, you can type that in comments. The next is if you are weak in microeconomics, if you are weak in microeconomics, then definitely sailing through MSQ entrances won't be easy because a majority of the questions are based on microeconomics. So it does not matter you're solving questions on mathematics, statistics or macroeconomics. Microeconomics could be as a flavor to all of them. So definitely keep your variant textbook like a very essential book. And yes, I have been making few videos on variant lectures or other variant chapters and there's a playlist as well. And yes, I'll be providing links to all the resources being mentioned in this video in the description box. So do check those out. It's not very difficult to master variant or microeconomics for MSQ as well. You just need to get the essence of economics. And the ideal way to get the essence of economics is through microeconomics. And Variant is just a very entertaining non-fiction book if you read it through the lens of a bookworm, not someone who wants to get into some program because it's written pretty crisply and it's not pedantic in nature. So therefore, I love Variant textbook a lot. So you must watch that playlist if you want to refer something and uh, I will be adding further chapters onto that playlist so that it becomes a comprehensive solution for all people who want to learn microeconomics. Now, the next thing is, let's say you have some kind of a query, like I am good in PEA, but my PEB is bad. How to approach PEB? What is the strategy for PEB? And I get a lot of comments like that, that I'm good in PEA, but I'm not good in PEB. But thing is, only the format changes. The syllabus remains the same. So if your preparation is dependent upon the format to excel, then definitely your preparation is not thorough. You have tried to find shortcuts. And let me tell you the truth. There are no shortcuts to success in any walk of life. So you have to go down to the concepts and try to read the questions already with you in the form of previous year question papers in the PEB section and try to understand how best to tackle them and what are the concepts involved because ultimately the concepts will be the same. You just have to find out that why you are not able to solve them and in most cases the reason could be that either your concepts are very weak in some kind of a category or maybe you have not spent enough time with the question because the IQ or the intelligence, whatever you have is something which will decide your output. But the amount of effort which you give is something which is entirely in your hands. There's no fuzziness about it. So if you have not spent enough time with a question or maybe many questions of PEB, so you cannot really say that I'm bad at PEB. You ideally should give around one hour to every PEB question. To understand the question, to find out what exactly the question is talking about, which chapters are involved, which concepts are involved, how much of micro, how much of macro, how much of stat and how much of math is in it. So this is my tip for PEB and specifically speaking, there is no specific tip for PEB. It's a tip for getting through the MSQ entrances. Now, yes, you might have a question that how to get into IESI MSQE. And I have made a lot of videos on that specific topic. You might Google or YouTube Honey of Knowledge, how to get into ISI MSQE. 
you will get a lot of videos on that do subscribe if you're new here and if you like this video do give it a thumbs up